There are new developments following last night's deadly shooting in North Nashville. One person was killed and now one man is behind bars. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres is at the Criminal Justice Center where the suspect was booked earlier this morning. I understand police now believe this was all over a parking spot. Jennifer, unbelievably, that is what police are saying this morning. They say that the suspect got into an argument with the victim because they simply did not like the way the person parked their car. Now, that suspect is Calvin Carter. He was booked in just after midnight after police say he shot that victim. Now, this happened before 9 o'clock last night outside the suspect's apartment on Blank Street in North Nashville. Metro Police say Carter started yelling at the victim again about how they parked the car. Now, they went their separate ways, but Carter just could not let it go. He allegedly went up to the victim's apartment with the gun, yelling at him some more, continued that argument through the back door. Now, witnesses say he then opened the door and shot the victim twice, once in the chest, and that victim was sent to General Hospital where they later died. And so far, that victim's name has not been released to us just yet. Carter was eventually found and is booked in Metro Jail, being charged with criminal homicide and is held on a 100 thousand dollar bond. We are reporting live at the Criminal Justice Center on Matthew Torres, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Matthew, thank you. And another shooting suspect is behind bars this morning. Brandon Freeman has been arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Police say Freeman held a gun to his friend Andre Vaughn's head and said he was going to kill him. As Vaughn tried to get away, Freeman allegedly shot him in both legs. It happened on Claiborne Street in South Nashville early to Thursday morning. A suspected arsonist is also behind bars this morning. Police say Brian Elam set a mobile home on fire early Wednesday. This was the scene around 1.30 in the morning on Scenic View Road in Old Hickory. We're told Elam and someone living in the trailer had just gotten into a fight a few minutes before the fire started. A house was destroyed by a fire last night in Murfreesboro. This was the scene on the 400 block of East Burton Street. We're told fire crews got the call around 8.30 after smoke was spotted in the middle unit of the triplex. Crews arrived to find flames coming through the front door as well as the attic. Only one person was home at the time and no one was hurt. It's not clear at this point what started the fire. Less than 24 hours after he was placed on the TBI's top 10 most wanted list, the registered sex offender is back in custody. Bobby Blaylock was captured here in Nashville yesterday and after Metro officers spotted his car. When they tried to pull him over, they say he did stop the car but then took off on foot. He was eventually caught and arrested. He was wanted in Cheatham County on rape charges and for violating conditions of the sex offender registry. He also faces other charges here in Nashville. A convicted felon on the run has now threatened anyone who tries to arrest him. Gabe Job and two other inmates escaped from the Marshall County Jail in Benton, Kentucky, Friday by, according to state police, simply walking away from the jail. Police say Job had been serving time for receiving stolen property and wanton endangerment. They also tell us now he has made threats against officers or anyone else who tries to turn him in. The two other men who escaped with him are Travis Bonifel and Jeremiah Nicholas, who were both in jail on drug charges. The three men reportedly got away in a red 2003 Ford F-150 truck with Kentucky tags K9997 and the words Marshall County Parks written on the side. Police say if you see any of the men, do not approach them. Just call 911. The Wisconsin Badgers will play Duke tomorrow in the March Madness championship game after a major upset in the final four when Kentucky's bid for perfect fell short by seven points. That was the scene in Lexington last night after the Badgers defeated the Wildcats in Indianapolis 71 to 64. Kentucky fans took to the streets after the game. Some even set off small fires. Police ended up lining the streets in riot gear, trying to maintain order there. Kentucky was the first men's team to have a 38-0 record when entering the Final Four game. Wisconsin takes on four-time national champ Duke tomorrow night at 8 p.m. You can watch the game, of course, right here on News Channel 5. On this Easter Sunday in Rome, Pope Francis has just presided over this year's Easter Mass at the Vatican, and thousands came out to hear the Pope speak at St. Peter's Square this morning. This was Pope Francis's first Easter as Pope. And in his speech, he called for peace in the Middle East and on the Korean Peninsula. After the mass, he made his way through the square in an open top Pope mobile free of bulletproof glass. And he stopped to greet some followers with handshakes, embraces and kisses. Easter is, of course, the joyous celebration of Christ's resurrection after his crucifixion. 
And the story of the first Easter was brought to life at a Brentwood church yesterday. The New Hope Community Church again hosted its popular walk through Jerusalem. The eighth annual event allows visitors to experience Christ's last week on earth. There was an interactive marketplace with costumed actors, followed by a large theatrical production depicting the story of the crucifixion. And it took just moments for 30,000 eggs to disappear in Mount Juliet yesterday. The police department posted this video on its Facebook page of the first egg hunt at the Charlie Daniels Park. This was one of two egg hunts there actually held on the field. And as you can see, they had a great turnout for it. And we want to share in your Easter celebrations. Send us your pictures from the kids posing with the Easter bunny to searching for Easter eggs. You can even send us pictures of your pets if you'd like. Just email the photos and videos to icontribute at newschannel5.com. You can also post them on our Facebook page or tweet them to us.